Now, um, this is the insurance policy and what we're trying to do here in uh, Hidden Street Magic is actually trying to sell you this insurance policy now. You know why? Because sometimes when we perform, we tend to make mistakes, right? And what this insurance policy that we offer to you does is actually to always cover your, your backside and make sure that you always pass whenever you perform. Now, let me give you an example. Supposing now I'm I'm doing some kind of like a, you know I'm shuffling the card and I say uh, I want you to call stop anywhere and so they say stop and okay fine remember this card all right for now we can both see the queen of diamonds all right uh, well you close it down you pass it to your audience you ask them to shuffle it and they have a good time shuffling oh everybody loves to try to spoil what the magician is trying to do right so they have shuffled the whole thing out. And all you're trying to do is this, you tell them, look at this pack of cards, I snap my finger once, and this card will be your card. Alright, for now we can see it's not going to work out this way. Now, the reason why this card isn't your card is because it probably is some kind of a marker card or something. It's trying to tell me that the first card on top, which is an ace, alright, tells me it's a one, that this card is your card. Turn it, alright, it's not. Now, so you see, in such circumstances, you can't do anything, right? Unless, of course, we spread the card. But remember, as a magician, you do not know that their card is the Queen of Diamonds. So the thing is this. This insurance policy that we are going to sell you, let's look at the small one first, all right? Uh, basically, it's the same, just that this insurance policy, uh, well, it, it's something where you can keep in your pocket to remind yourself what you're covered for, all right? Now, it says down here the conditions of this policy. Any and all persons participating must not heckle the magician. Well, you see, as a spectator, you did not heckle me, so I'm, I'm in this. I'm still covered. And this policy is valid from Monday through Friday and weekends only. I'm still covered. If the magician's rabbit does not jump out and attack its audience, the policy is null and void. Just give me a moment. I've checked whether my rabbits are okay. Here you go. See, my rabbit's fine. In fact, it doesn't jump. Yeah, that's a cute bunny. Alright, so I'm covered and it says next that um, all claims against the magician must be filed only after the magician has been paid in full and has left the building. Alright, this policy gives the magician the right to use real magic. So let's see 6. This policy is only valid if the audience believes in magic. Well, I believe that since you're watching this performance, you probably believe in magic. This policy guarantees that the magician will not fail an acting condition number 8. And condition 8 says the magician does does have a final opportunity to magically find the spectator's card if the magician has failed every attempt, giving the magician the right to enact the big finish. Alright, so you see the thing is this, this insurance covers me and I've been told that as long as I can't find the spectator's card, all I need to do is this, snap once, my insurance is going to cover me, yeah? At least that's what they say. And let's open up and see what I see in here. Wow, that is your card. The Queen of Diamonds. And so this insurance covers you all the time. In fact, uh, we're not just giving you this small insurance one, you're getting the big one too for your stage performance. And just mind you, it's not always the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs>